love you guys. It's Mary and Alma. Be like us to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Because today we are going to be reviewing season 15, episode two of Sister Wives. And you guys, basically, Cody has gone to go meet one of his fellow polygamists yes. to go Joe and get Darker. some advice. Yes. On life. Yeah. Well, it's been decriminalized, right? Yes. No, oh, ow. Oh. 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 Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Polyg <laughs> sorry. Oh. Polygamy <laughs> has been, yeah. It's more of an infraction now. The governor has signed a law where it's just like an infraction. It's like getting a parking ticket. Polygamy is no longer a felon. A felony. A felony. No, yeah. A felony. A felony. Yeah. And um, so, you know, Cody and his wife can go back. Right. So they go back, and um, especially since last episode, Janelle was like just feeling like their family were um, oh the family was disintegrating. And so, are you okay, honey? And Touch so, me. <laughs> and so, um, I think we just wanted to in Flagstaff, Arizona. There's no polygamous family. And so they just wanted to kind of get back in touch with their roots, I guess, you know, and just talk to someone. So they went there and... Um, they went to Utah? Yeah, they went to Utah okay. to visit them. And, you know, um, the wives were there. The, you know, remember they share a kitchen. Oh, we met the Dargos before. So they share a kitchen. Um, and, you know, Cody was talking about him wanting to have all the all the his wives under one roof with the family and of course you know Christine was feeling very vulnerable she's like you know I, this is not a conversation I like that's what she said in the confessional um, and I like that Joe Darga he didn't just he could see that he was uncomfortable for Christine and he didn't just go and be like oh yeah it's great this is what you all really should do but I he, feel he like was he was empathetic. Like, he was empathetic and he just With something that Cody does not have. Exactly. And he was like, you know, um, I have I have done both. And he said and Oh, Joe Dowger? Yes. Oh wow. And he's like, so for me, he said there are pros and cons to both. You know, it just depends on where you're at. He's like, but there are pros and cons to it. And then his wife was trying to say, well, you know, and she was like, it seemed as though to me it almost seemed as though they knew it was Christine who was against it. I mean, because, because I'm the sure wife, they could see it all on her face and yeah. in her body language. Yeah. And, well, actually, come to think of it, Cody did say Christine did not like the idea. And they tried to hug her, you know? And she was just like, she was so uncomfortable. And the, one of his wives, the older wife, was like, well, you know, it's very good for the family. It's very good for the children to be under one roof and stuff like this. So Christine just didn't say anything. She's like... You know, this is not a conversation that I find to be so hurtful that I'm going to have in front of the darkness right now. This is not the time for that. Yeah. Um, Cody spoke to Joe about also having children. You know, do I still continue to have more kids? I like, love his answer. <laughs> Joe Dargo was just like, well, for me, once my older kids are having kids, I'm not trying to get any more kids. When you the know, grandbaby comes, I stop. with that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, anyway. Yeah, the youngest child of his is like six, so he's like, yeah, so we're kind of fine with that. Um, and then, what else is Cody? And Mary was like, you know, I think that Cody needs to have, like, more polygamous friends who are kind of doing it properly. Yeah. You know, like, Joe Darga, you see his family, they seem to run like a well-oiled machine. Well, the thing is, with Joe Darga... He is somebody who is focused. And he's he a has a, a goal. Yes. He has a vision. Yes. He has a plan, yes. and he executes. He does. Cody is like All a tornado. He's like a tornado on a resort. Yeah. He messes everything that's good up. He instigates fights. And it's like he's and I think somebody in our comment he, section he, um, said he, that if Janelle was a woman, it would be better. Now I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying to shout Janelle you was out. the man. Yes. 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 Oh, wait, who said this? Let me see who said this. I think it was um Flapjack. Okay. What's up, girl? <laughs> she said that truth is Cody is the wife, and they and the only man in that group is Janelle that keeps it moving. Yeah, you see, because yeah. the thing if is, Janelle was Janelle, the man, and uh, Cody was another woman. It would work out very well. 
well. It will work out well. Because Janelle is very calm. She's not yeah. with the drama. She no. damn sure won't be in wife's business. Oh, and no. she will also be fair. Yeah. Like she's like, okay, I'm here for this. You know, this is great and, and everything. Fair, but yeah. I also like my own independence. Exactly. Let me make sure that everybody is safe and secure. Yeah. Yeah. Janelle will not be here all starry eyed and yeah. looking for me. Guilty yeah. about having Robin as a favorite wife, he yeah. goes and instigates stuff, and then he, he goes out of his way. He though. gossips. He gossips about one yeah. wife to another wife, and whatever he said, talks to this wife about, he goes and tells another wife, and then if he's having problems with a wife, he goes to talk about their relationship to another wife. You know, so I know that thing can write it out balcony. All right now. There, there's nothing here for you to eat, Mr. Mr. Birdie. But um, yeah, so Mary was like uh she felt like Cody will really benefit from having polygamist friends. I don't think that would even can save kind him. Kind of show him the way. That he can maybe he can ask them, Should I have a wife? I wish he could get some kind of counseling. Yeah. Should I have a wife that I'm not being intimate with? And the, they probably will say, you know, that's not fair to her. I don't think like, what do you expect for her to do? She's only 50. What do you expect her to do? Not have any more sex for the rest of her life? Like, but you know this? what I'm going to say, though? I don't think that matters. And y'all correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. You mean the sex but I don't, doesn't matter? No, I'm saying I don't think it would matter even if you have polygamous friends. Cody oh, is, there are, fundament, there are three things that are fundamentally wrong with him. Okay. He's not self-aware, mm -hmm. he's not accountable, yeah, and he not. feels like he is self-righteous. Yeah, those, no, those three those things, yeah, yeah. nobody can save that person yeah. because they're not willing to look at themselves. Yeah. Even if somebody's saying, Cody, you need to do this, you need to do that. Yeah. I don't think it'll matter. Yeah. He hates Mary. Yeah. He is not going to go and put his weenie over there just because somebody tells him that he, he needs to be doing really it. He really things to her, but when he needs her to listen, here he comes. He he go get for a little crumbs, comes. and Mary is there just waiting, like waiting. And Can she I has, get some yeah, crumbs, yeah. please, Massa? Yeah. Like it don't make yeah. no sense to me with yeah. Mary, and she's yeah. now laughing about it. Like yeah. she has got to so comfortable in the wahala no, that I she think, is now laughing about it. I think she laughs to keep from crying. Actually, I think so. that's what I'm it's, thinking. It's a toxic relationship. But yeah. she's like, Very oh, I'm toxic. not going anywhere, so <laughs> you gotta be used to it. <laughs> Really sat there. Me and Paul were like, I think she might be crazier than Cody. I mean, like yeah, honestly, like, I mean, all these years of abuse, this screw totally has come unwound in her mind. But yeah, so when they were going back home, um, they were all talking about how they said they had wonderful conversations coming back home um, when they left the Darkers because they were talking about just what they just like what they loved about Utah yeah. and stuff. Right. And that's when Christine started thinking to herself, hey, maybe we can go back to Utah. But well, that comes at another episode. Yes, but just going back to the whole Joe Dogger thing, Yeah, I feel like Cody has to really work on himself and he has to be willing to actually pray on stuff yeah. and he has to also be willing to look himself in the mirror as hard as it may be he has to really be to be have to really try to do that yeah but because i also I think feel that like this is salvageable at this point it really, it, it really was the season if he 15 will just just change you know and that's what is so frustrating because it's like i'm looking at this and saying this can be salvageable just if you if be him it starts with him. It doesn't start it really with the wife. Starts it starts with him. And ends with, with Cody. Cody. It really does. Because the thing is, he's the patriarch of the family. Yeah. You know, as much as he tries to say that, no, he doesn't control anything. You, yeah, you do, do. Because the thing is, yeah, you, you have a way of being very manipulative. Yes. And you have a way yeah. of being controlling. Yes. It's not like you say it and you're like, this is what happens. No. Yours is very subtle. Yeah. And it's also more hurtful. It's very deceptive. Because it, it really messes with your mind. Yes, because you're saying, deceptive. you're looking at this man, he's here being nice to you or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then he'll do these backhanded things yeah. that really makes you confused. And it makes you feel like you're yeah. the issue. But it's really, it's him. Emotional abuse exactly mm -hmm. so i think that's the issue but i don't feel like him having friends would ever change his mind or whatever now Maybe i feel like perspective 
I mean, it might help a little bit, yeah. might wake him up a little bit, but I don't think it would. I think you guys think it would have made it a difference if he had people around him to guide him. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. But my thing is, it also, it's not even about the guiding because at the end of the day, we all know right from wrong. You want you know it's wrong that you're not with Mary. Two, you know it's wrong that you have a favorite wife. Three, you know it's wrong that you're not seeing your kids. He doesn't want to acknowledge that. Yes. Four, you know it's wrong that you dictate your relationship based on how well your relationship is with the, the wife. wife. Yeah. You know all this is wrong. Yeah. You don't need somebody to guide you to know right from wrong. Yeah. So when I strip everything else away and yeah. I think about the basics of right and wrong, he doesn't need guidance. He just has to actually stop lying to himself lying. and trying to twist the truth like yeah, an orange and make it right oh, in his head. Orange juice? <laughs> like trying to make orange juice out of sand. That's yeah. basically what he's yeah. trying to do. Trying to do. Yeah. So, no, Mary, that's not going to help him. I know yeah. you have faith, but that should have died with the yeah. sexual relationship a long time ago. Yeah. I mean, she she's trying to find... She is anything. trying. She's trying to find the great poop yeah, on the dry tree that's dead. Yeah, she's looking for anything that that may help him uh, change his disposition towards her. But I feel like all that's going to do, because Mary, this man divorced you, yeah. and then you started the dating you a woman. Hang around, he gets is upset, and I feel like it's going to make him resent her and even hate oh, her he more. Already resent. I already. know, but it's going to get. But I feel like also this could get very dangerous. As for, I mean, also, I think it really could because especially when a man is ready for you to go and he's ready for you to leave holding on. and he's doing everything to for you to leave and mm -hmm. you have sat there to laugh down like a crazy little ninny saying, I'm not going oh, yeah, nowhere. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going we'll to hold up. Friends. I don't know how well that's going to hold up. Yeah. And because you sweet. stay there, you mm -hmm. don't give this man impetus yeah. to actually make change no you know with christine it gave him a little bit but by that time it was too late yeah it was too late, was too late. so i feel like mary you're not giving this man a reason to change and mm -hmm. she really really believes that it's her fault I know. that's the that's the yeah. thing and i feel like she has felt like that's this whole entire marriage which is yeah. what's really really sad and yeah. i don't think she's not aware at all no. but and she's he's using it again so like i said about it's the whole so sad thing he was going he knew to, it was his fault he was going to take that and say this is why we don't have a relationship which is now the narrative that he's using but the relationship was already back was before dead, the catfish situation yeah, you had divorced her you had found the love of your life you're now adopting kids yeah you're pushing her to the side you're not yeah. having sex with her and all this stuff and then you wonder why she started dating a woman cody yeah. she had hit rock bottom yeah. i think she had hit lower than where the rats and the vermin yeah. had resided and you gotta remember when she was thinking about a child and he said let us let's rest. sit on the no let's sit on the no <laughs> he like said, he did not want to have go through this road with her uh even trying to see if she can use an egg you know he didn't want to go through any test nothing with her he sat he cross legged like, yeah. as he told her on the mountain like, no. no and then when she's like well no i think we should go to the doctor let's sit on the no, no. yes and just straight like so that really, he was the one who made that decision I know. Pretending like he was taking her out for her to make the decision for herself. No, he wanted to make sure she understood. And, and then he was promptly after that. stopped having sex with her and made sure that she would not get pregnant. And that was episode uh, season six. It was ten episodes of them. Which is why I was so mad at Mariah when or she was so hard ten. on her mom yeah. about it because they had a bad marriage. And then I felt yeah. like also Mariah didn't know the whole backstory. I, no, I she mean, didn't. From my own experience, yeah, I know didn't. that. And she, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. Because but the mom is not talking bad about the father. The dad. Yeah, you know? which is true. But I mean, then when I started seeing how Mary also has some issues of her own. Yeah. And how she's willingly sitting there. And then I started to understand Mariah's side where she was like, well, you also have partnered. Which you did, Mary. You yeah. have decided to sit there in that loveless marriage. Mm -hmm. And now you're dating somebody on Catfish. And now you uh, yeah. want them to meet your daughter. Yeah. I felt like that was wrong. I also feel like what Very Cody did was wrong as well. Yeah. Um, I, but I do blame him 60% for it. I blame yeah. Mary 40. Because it was his fault. If she had a loving marriage at home, she would have never gone and started dating some woman on, on, on the internet. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, but yeah, we then gone all off. I forgot what the episode was even about. 
But it's Mary. And Alma. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Bye. Bye.